we are doing in our lectures is to teach theoretical knowledge and of course to connect it in the lecture already with examples so to connect it to also the outside world so to say of course the next step is then to go actually to the enterprises to look at the farms and to see how it is working there so i think first of all it was good to get an overview of different agricultural and agribusiness systems conditions under mediterranean conditions in southern france so it was relatively broad set of uh, topics we, we discussed and uh, I think that, that helped to broaden the perspective of agriculture and agribusiness. Of course our aim was to mix those two study courses because we have different parts, production but also the economical or social economic side and uh, therefore we try to find a mixture but of course the students they should also judge uh, what uh, was it what they expected. I think everything we talked about covers some aspect in sustainable agriculture. I know whenever we visited the farm where the man produces his own wheat organically, we, we got to see an intercropping system. And I remember we talked about that in agroecology in our first semester. She had a nice range of different crop applications. And because he was so young, he seemed to be really innovative, which is a great inspiration for myself just to see that you can do it another way and not only learn from the uh, like from your father for example. We had a little bit of focus on rice production so for many students that was probably new so they learned much more about that and learned that a lot of rice production also in France for example at the rice processing uh, facility um, of Biosud. So rice cultivation is very important to the Camargue ecosystem because it's the only way we have in the area to bring uh, fresh water on a salty land because uh, Camargue is not a natural area. I like the ecological rice production with the ducks um, because it's uh, yeah, a traditional way of yeah, doing um, ecological agriculture. The favorite visit for me was the Longo Mai Cooperative because they really showed us a totally different way of living and how the society could live together. And yes, there has to be still improved and I think it's not possible to adapt it into urban areas, it's possible in rural areas. Longo Mai is also interesting because it's not just one farm. It's a network, it's mm -hmm. a, a movement. There are different places when, where we have friends, where we do something together, where we, uh, it's not just working together or activities, but it's also that uh, we have an exchange, we, we, we discuss, we, we have uh, parties together, we dance together, we eat together, mm -hmm. everything like this, uh, which go inside for me, why it's important. I'm teaching agroforestry and horticulture, for instance, regarding agroforestry. We were able to um, go to an enterprise like an oil of production site to see the agroforestry system where they're growing in a sustainable way. In this case, it was even organic olive production. And uh, it was also interesting that we saw then what is going to do with olives from harvesting until olive oil, for instance. So to see the whole value chain from the tree to the oil. I guess my personal highlight was uh, the day we spent with the people from Cap Plus S France because it was, uh, they were really nice, really friendly. It was good to get like an industry insight, not only the farming part, but also to get a point of view of the uh, mechanisms behind the farming itself. So fertilizer production, that was definitely interesting. Ah, yeah, my highlight was biodiversity because uh, yeah, it showed us a good opportunity where we could work in because our study courses, yeah, there's a huge field where, where to, to start um, after the study course and I think it was a good example for um, showing us where we actually can work in the end. It definitely gave me uh, lots of ideas what to do in um, the semester abroad so maybe uh, yeah France could be an opportunity for me uh, the maybe the Erasmus program at Isara or also an internship at some of the places we visited.
markets are always interesting for me. We visited several markets, high standard markets, but also low, uh, local markets. And you see on a small spot the diversity. So markets are hot spots of diversity in terms of food products, fruits, vegetables, and so on. The dinner we had with the students, where the students prepared the dinner, I think that was definitely the highlight from um, looking at the excursion holistically. Mm -hmm.